Hi, I'm Ben LaRoustel from Capcom, and I'm here today to talk about Lost Planet 3. So to give you a bit of background to Lost Planet 3, uh, Lost Planet 3 actually takes place before the first Lost Planet game in the series, and actually focuses on one main character, this guy we're seeing here, Jim Payton. And um, he's come to EDN 3 uh, as a sort of a miner, someone who's there to help uh, get the planet ready for... Um, people to come and live there, so for, fit for habitation, but also to, uh, to mine for the thermal energy. Thermal energy has obviously been a, a resource that's been in all, th all two games and is now, uh, the previous two games, and is now also present in uh, uh, Lost Planet 3. He's an ordinary guy. He's a worker. He's just here in order to get money to take back, to send back to his family. So that's his motivation for being there. And, you know, so he'll take on, within the game, you take on sort of contracts. Uh, you know, the more money, the more perilous they may be. And in the gameplay we're about to see here, um, Jim's been asked by his boss to go and fix uh, the relay station that enables all of the people that are on EDN3 to ha send their messages back home. So it's a really important thing. Uh, so in order to get there, uh, he's going to have to first off start off on foot. But to actually fix the thing that needs fixing, he's going to have to use his utility rig. So the utility rig is the vehicle. Um, they're not the, the vital suits that we've seen in the previous two games. Uh, they're more, as the name suggests, utility rig. They're used for, for doing things, for fixing things, for uh, finding out things within the world. Um, so it's a tool rather than a weapon. I mean, that's the most important thing. But over the course of the game, Jim's going to actually find out he's going to have to use that utility rig not just to, uh, as in his daily work, but also to uh, protect him from the, the acrid, the creatures that are indigenous to the planet of EDN3. So here we are, we're now at the bottom of this uh, mountain. We're entering uh, a hive of these uh, fire wasps, which are a, a flying enemy, a new flying acrid, new to the Lost Planet franchise. Uh, my partner in crime off camera, Jason, uh, is uh, just taking us through here. So. Uh, if we uh, take out that thing at the end, uh, where they're all spawning from, we can proceed. All right. uh, what the, the enemies are dropping in. The enemies are, far, are firing at you, when, and when, when you defeat them, you pick up their thermal energy. That's right, yeah. yeah. So that hasn't changed. It's still pretty much Absolutely. Changed. Thermal energy is still an important part of the game. Uh, these guys can obviously spit uh, nastiness at you as well. If they get close enough, um, then they will, you'll end up in a, in a bit of melee combat. Right. Um, so I don't know whether Jason is going to be bad enough uh, in his... He looks pretty good, so I don't know if we're actually going to see the melee combat or not. He's a good job. There's quite a lot of these guys, though. So we're making our way through. This is the base of the mountain. At the top of this mountain uh, is where the relay station is and where everything needs to get, uh, get fixed. Our cover system uh, is now in the game. And now in gym to, like, just... Shoot over the shoulder? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, over, the, uh, over the cover. Let's just check that out. I blind, think pretty blind, sure we can do blind shooting blind. as well. We've got a blind shot there. No. no. All right, so you've got to get out of, get out of cover yeah. before you shoot back. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're just heading our way through here. We've got a few more of the, uh, the fire wasps to deal with. Yeah, when you get a pack, I mean, on their own, they're, pr they're not too bad. But when you get a, a sort of swarm of them like this, uh, coming at you from all sides as well, that's when you've got to, especially use that cover system as well. Here we go. So this one. So now we're going to enter the melee attack. So if you sort of prep it now, and then you have to get the reticule onto the enemy, which is a sort of, a f you know, you've got to fight against that. And then once you've locked on it and it's glowing red, that's when you can, oh, whoa, okay. There we go. So every time it goes red, then you can hit the attack button. And eventually, we'll break free of this. There we go. And then we can take him out with one final move. Oh, you did that on purpose just to show us, didn't you? <laughs> that's yeah, him, that's yeah, him dispatched yeah, now. Know, <laughs> yeah, that's a trick. So I think we're about to get to the end of this little section here. Um, for the purpose of this demo, we've kind of cut this short. So when you enter this section, uh, you're actually going to transport straight up to the top. In the full game, you'd actually have to uh, traverse your way all the way up to the oh, top. Okay. That um, rail you see, system you see there yep. is the rail system that will transport you, your utility rig up to the top. Right. Um, so we're just quickly morphing now and uh, transforming yeah. ourselves up to the top of... Oh, lo and behold, we're now at the top of the... Back at the top now. So uh, <coughs> Jim's got a, a few little things to do up here before the rig can be brought up uh, and transported up. Right. So... 
we'll just check out check out some of the scenery on top of the mountain. It looks like someone's up to no good and well, has just jumped off the edge there. Yeah, question. mate. Uh, is, can you, is this a co-op? Uh, can you do a co-op all the way through? Or, I know, of course, there's multiplayer, multiplayer. Well, no, this is a single-player game now. Yes. Um, so we've kind of gone back more to the, the roots of right. LP1. Right. Uh, there is a multiplayer aspect to the game, yes. and uh, we are showing a little bit of that uh, on the show floor, Capcom's booth on the show yep. floor at TGS. We've got plenty more to tell you about multiplayer, probably yeah, in, in, the right. new, in the new yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. question was pretty much no co-op. Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So we've just, uh, we, we get a few little mini tasks here just to do, just to set a few things up. Uh, yeah. Grabbing some new weapons, I think, there, out of the little weapon patch. Shotgun, which may come in useful in a bit. We won't spoil the surprise, but... No, we're not going to keep this step. Yep. Surprises. So what are, the, what are the, some of the really cool weapons, like a shotgun and you've got the assault rifle and machine gun style gun? Yeah, I mean, really the, the, the main thing is how, uh, and it, we can't really see it right now, is how the player uses the rig okay. to become a weapon. So first and foremost, it's a tool. It's a device for Jim to do his job. But as I mentioned earlier, you're going to have to work out how to best use that in order to uh, fight off the acrid that are coming at you. And they, you know, they come, you can, they come in all shapes and sizes. We've seen a couple of those flying, the flying the, uh, ones just a minute ago. We're going to see, in a little while, something slightly on the larger side than that. Uh, and that's when you really have to use the, you really need the rig then. You can fight that guy both on foot, and we'll see a little mix of both on foot action and in the rig. Uh, but obviously, the rig is more powerful. You're less susceptible to damage you're in, you know, when you're inside that yes. thing. So... I think this is pretty much the final part of this the thing here. We've got one more thing to do after, once the rig's arrived. Yep. Uh, but we're pretty much there now. What so is that thing? What was that thing that came out? Was that the satellite dish? This is the satellite dish, oh, yeah. Okay, so there's, yeah. Uh, there's one more so thing to do. We've done that. Yep. We're nearly there now. Yep. Call um, the rig. Call the rig. So now we've done all this bits and pieces. We now get the rig up from the bottom where we started. Right. It'll make its way up slowly up the, to the top of the mountain where yeah, we so are. That's happening. You've got to fight. We may have to fight, have something. Yeah, but uh, it's a game, so I don't... It's a game, exactly. Unlikely, that unless uh, the acrid are going to make us a cup of tea, I yeah, think we'll probably have to... Okay, we're going we're to fight them for it. All right. So uh, we're going to go back out here. I think uh, something might be coming out of that uh, cave up ahead there. Oh, there we go. So... Just like other uh, Lost Planet games, uh, you know, the Acrid always have a glowing orange spot, a soft spot there, and uh, that's what we've got to aim for here. You will, you know, the enemies will take damage on other parts of their body, but that's where the maximum hits are going to take place. So this enemy here has got a couple of attacks. He's got the poison that he fires out from his tail there. He's also got a stabbing attack um, that we'll see in a second, I think, uh, coming up about... He'd come on, yeah. Oh no, he's now he's gone for the poison again. It looks pretty powerful. Yeah. But like I say, I mean, you you can you can do a bit of damage on your own, um, you know, with the weapons that you have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but to really finish it off, we're going to need the rig. Which, hold on, I think he's he's a bit worried. He's taking he's he's running away. That's nice. The shotgun shot to the back. I think he's he's gone back to recuperate there. Right. But I think we. Well, hold on, more of those fire wasps, they've coming out. We're still waiting for that rig. Yeah, the rig's coming up, right? It's coming up now. It should be, uh, I think we're there now. I think if uh, Jason does a 180, we should see the rig now. Is it there yet, Jason? Yeah, there it is. Okay, right. So this is the utility rig we've been talking about. Uh, it does obviously bear some resemblance to the, to the vital suits that we've seen uh, in previous games. But as you see, it's not, it's, you, you can't actually, there's no guns on there, right? We've got a, a sort of a pincer type there. We've also got a drill bit as well. So these are things that Jim would normally use in the course of his normal routine. Exactly right, mate, yeah. Um, so now we're going first person. We're in the rig now. So the ch we've changed from third person to first person. If you see there, uh, Jason just fired out the winch there, which allows him to attack enemies from a distance. So the small guys, you can just... Really quickly. Oh, wow. With that. Then, but it, oh, okay. He hits them and it falls to the ground and the yeah. then he drags it back. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, but we've also, uh, this is also useful for bigger enemies to grab them yeah. and then use the drill on them. So that's oh, a right. tactic that we'll be using, or Jason will be using when 
I'm guessing that, that uh, the big eight quid might be coming out to say hello again fairly soon. Oh, here he goes. Yeah. This will be good. I'd like to see this is a fair fight now. Yeah. Here we go. So Jason can also, he can do various things that we encounter. We can block as well. Oh, wow. um, there, there's a block, a block yeah. attack there. Yeah. And the right, right bumper was like, you can, you, can, you, can ca you can counter as well. Yeah. Okay, well now he's grabbed him now, yep. grabbed him now, and then get in there with a the drill. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so that's your kind of... So again, it's making use of your tools, your job tools, as it were, um, to actually, to your advantage in a fight. Yes, that is amazing. Yeah. Are grabbing him now? Oh, okay, you're throwing it out. So really what, I mean, I think the interesting, you know, the big thing difference about LP3 uh, is that mix of first and third person combat. Yeah. So you've got your first person combat when you're in the rig, yeah. like we are now, and the third person on ground combat uh, when Jim's out of the rig. Right. Um, so he's just grabbed him now. He's, he's grabbed like, him. He's, he's like it, catching a fish. He's a bit like a reel him in, reel him in. It's a big one. It is a big one. Oh, you let go. You let go. <laughs> <laughs> you let him go. Uh, oh, there you go. Start again. Uh, The enemies are very tough. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, this is, this is a sort of a, a mid-sized boss type enemy. I mean, it, you know, there's obviously there's going to be bigger ones than this that we'll have to contend with throughout the course of the game. It's, it's Lost Planet after all. Of course. And we're Capcom. You know, yeah. we like our boss characters. The and are big indeed, indeed. So just a few other things. So um, to a bit more about sort of background about the game while Jason is, is kind of talking this. So just so you're aware, this game has been developed by Spark Unlimited, who Spark. are based, yeah, they're based out of um, Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, but that's not to say that this game is totally, uh, you know, a uh, Capcom has no involvement. Yeah. Oguru San, who yeah. was the director on the first two games, so is creative well. director yeah. for Lost Planet 3 to ensure that there is con continuity and consistency yeah. with the Lost Planet universe. Okay. Uh, we have a producer based in Japan as well, yeah. who uh, works closely with Spark. Right. Um, so Spark's using Unreal Engine uh, to oh. power this game. This yeah, so they're not using uh, Capcom's MT framework. Uh, but I think, you know, as you can see with what we've got here, we've got some great open world uh, or open areas. It's right. not just confined to corridors, this no. game. Uh, there, so there are corridor fight battles? Well, there's some, there's some indoor activity as well. Yeah, yeah you, you'll see with some of the stuff we showed previously, showed uh, the interior uh, of a, an underground bunker right. uh, that Jim discovered. Yes. Uh, and that was a bit more corridor based. Yes. Um, so it's a real mixed bag of, of indoor and outdoor, in rig, out of rig. Yes. Um, him. Close to close. I think the other thing is there's a real, um, you know, compelling storyline with this game, yeah, and yeah, we're really trying. Like well, we're really trying to, see, you know, it's, it really does follow Jim to to, to a great extent, you know, and, and his experience on on the planet. Mm. You know, we want people to to identify with Jim. He's an ordinary guy, you know, and, and you know, there's some very touching moments uh, in the story. You know, when he, when you see him, his messages that he relays back to his wife oh, back home, right. and he's really he's homesick, you know. Yeah. He doesn't want to be here, yeah. and he wants to be here even less when he has to fight these critters, you know. Um, but he's there for his, he's doing it for his family, yes. you know. Like so many of us, you know, we go to work every day, we may not enjoy it. Yes. Uh, apart from me, I love Capcom. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, you know, um, he, you know, he's doing it to, to, for his family, and his family, you know, he gets all these sad messages from his family, and, oh, we yeah, miss you, we miss you, you know. Like, like, I think we, got, we might have it now. Have Is the critter gone? Don't let him go. Yeah. Don't let him go. Put him in the net. <laughs> I think, he, I think he's, 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 a, he's a goner. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah. So there we go. So that's kind of, there's a little bit of a story coming up after this, but that's really yeah, effectively that's the, really the end of the demo that we're showing there. But it, hopefully that gives you guys a good indication of uh, the mix of on-foot and in-rig combat, the yeah. first and third, uh, third and first combat we have. Oh, this is the final bit. Of, so this kind of takes it right. This is, so at the beginning, I said we need the rig in order to do the final thing. Because so obviously, so, you know, Jim on his own would never have been able to turn that. No. You know, he needed the rig to do that. Yes. That's his tool for doing this. Yes. Um, okay. But so that's why he had to get up to the top of the mountain. Right. Uh, so he's done his. Now that's his. That's his. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's done his job. He was. That's he now. Now he can get paid. Yes. And now he can send some money back home. So. Okay. So there we go. That's uh, that's Lost Planet Three uh, coming uh, early 2013. Right. Thank you very much for your time. And no worries, mate. Okay. So it's 2013. Yeah. 2013. Thank yep. you very much. All right. All right. Bye bye. Cheers.